Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm coming back on to do a project share for Scrap Diva Designs. And here is her card, her website, all of her other information, and make sure to follow the hashtag Scrap Diva Designs. Check out what everybody else is making. And I am sharing the little fringed birthday balloons. I had a little accident and cut this, but I can fix it. Just going to put um, a magnetic sheet on this, but anyways, you get to three different sizes, and then you have your layering pieces. This is so cute. I love the little fringed um, little dies, and there's a little star as well. This is coming out in June, and the other die that I used of hers is the postage stamp mini album. I, as soon as I saw her post a little sneak peek of the little fringed balloons in her stories, I knew exactly what I was going to make. And I was going to make this little album. And I put them here, here, and here. I just did the two smaller ones, but I cut it into thirds. And all you would do is I have a little example. Like this is the bottom layer. This would be the top piece, but this is one that I had cut. So I cut mine into thirds. So you just pick, you know, where you want to and then layer them on there. So there's a piece here, another piece here, and a piece down below. You can even put foam in between the layers. I've done that before with um, one of her other fringed dies. And I did cut the bottom piece out in foam. This is just the Dollar Tree foam. That way it just gave it a little, little bit of thickness. And then just glued it all up. But they do make the perfect embellishments. Um, I'm not, I put a little pocket on the back, but I'm not fully done with this. I ran out of this pink um, pom-pom trim so I could put it on the back. So I ordered some more and then I still have to um, decorate. I made little pockets, but this came out so cute with these. So I'm going to make a bunch of these for, um, and put inside here all decorated up to use. And I did make this into a shaker. And what was I going to, oh, the last project that I shared, it was, I do believe, this little box. And it is the A2 gift box. But when I put this one together, I made it so it had these little things on the sides. You'll see after I take it apart to make it easy to open. But there is another way that you can make this. And I do have an example. I don't have it decorated yet, but this is such a cute little box. Not just for a card, but also Happy Mail. Especially little mini Happy Mails. I know that there's going to be a little swap out for anything mini, and this would be perfect to put your little swap right in, just saying. So the other way to make this box is so that you just have this this piece here and it just opens up like this and then closes so that is the second way that you can make this box and all i did was show you so i explained before how to put it together and how some of the dies have the little star and it will also um, make an embossment or embossing into your paper. So I do believe these are the top pieces. And then this piece here, um, I used just for the bottoms. But what I did was I did use this for the top and the bottom. I only used this once and stuck this piece here. And then on the back here, on both the top and the bottom, I used this piece. So what I, I did cut a piece out. So here is your piece you would fold over. And this is what you would glue to your box. And then this is supposed to fold over. That way, it does make your box a little sturdy when you fold, I mean, all sides are folded over. But what I did was I cut out one of these for the bottom and the top, and then I just took my scissors 
and I just cut along that line. And then I, after I glued this on, I glued one on the bottom. This, the bottom piece I did on the inside, the top pieces I glued on the outside. I don't know if you can see that. So after I glued the one on the bottom and the one on the top, I cut this piece off of both of them and then glued these two pieces together. And that's what made it open like that. Then you would just decorate it up. But what I did do, I wanted to show you, I think it's, yes, this one. I would wait, or I would not wait, but I would, there's like the little, these little tab pieces. Um, one side I cut off right here. I don't know if you can see. And then the other side actually tucked it in and glued it. I actually like it tucked in and glued. It just makes it look finished off compared to the other side. So I would tuck that little glue tab in on the top first. I wanted to do it both ways to see how I liked it and I like it um, glued in there. So that's my only suggestion on that. But, and then you just decorate it up. There are the little layering pieces and they are stitched and you also get the layering pieces to layer all around. Um, and you can layer the inside as well. Oopsie. But those are my project shares for Scrap Diva Designs. Remove all this mess. And the new release comes out at midnight tonight. And I will have a link to her website down below. And it is an affiliate link. Um, it does help my channel and I appreciate you guys so much using my link and my code. And I do have a coupon code, which is Davina10, and you can save 10% off of your order. And thank you guys so much for watching. Happy crafting and happy shopping. Bye.